and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on. For our next deck in our Tier 1 Tuesday stream, we have Mono Red Aggro. That's right, we are actually playing Mono Red Aggro here on stream. Maybe the first time playing Mono Red Aggro on stream, you know, all the way since, you know, Runaway Steamkin has been in the format. Um, I should have something right here that says Tier 1 Tuesday. There we go. Let's do that. Um... Yeah, so don't don't uh, play too much mono red, but this is this is what we're doing today. Uh, I've had a lot of uh, requests to play some of the more popular decks in the format that a lot of you know a lot of people like to play some of the better decks and decks that uh, people want to see my take on those decks also. And so here we are. Uh, this is my list here for mono red aggro. So we'll talk about it a little bit. Um, basically, everything's pretty uh, stock here in the main deck. Except for I have two Skewer, two Wizards Lightning. This is something that I'm not exactly sure about uh, with, with those parts there. Um, so, you know, I, I went through, like, tons and tons of Mono Red Aggro deck lists and, and stuff and uh, played a couple practice games also. In this, and uh, so th this is where we're at. Um, I see a lot of people that go go with just Skewer and no Wizards Lightning, but uh, some people are moving away from Viashino Pyromancer and towards Ember Hauler also. Um, but I think I like the the Wizards Lightnings and the Pyromancer and, and everything. So that's so I got got it split. Um, there's definitely matchups that uh, I don't really want Skewer, you know, against like the, the blue decks that are playing counter spells and stuff. I don't really want the sorcery speed removal spell. Where I like Wizards Lightning there more kind of thing. Um but yeah and uh, going with three frenzy in the main and and uh, one Chandra over the fourth. I really like this Acolyte of Flame. It's a pressures like the little planeswalkers like teferi and stuff well with by making elementals or just recasting any of these burn spells recasting light of the stage can be pretty nice so we got the the one acolyte of flame in here as far as sideboard goes uh we we're talking about blood sun a little bit ago um right now scape shift is the most popular deck and i think that playing for blood suns is absolutely worth it because the these cards in the mono red sideboard we we're just talking about are okay at best like they're not they're not spectacular you know mono red doesn't have a, a great sideboard and so if you have access to a card like blood sun that is a knockout against the most popular deck in the format i definitely think it should be a four of every single mono red list that i see every single one is playing like three tibolts i guess some of them have like two tibolts but most all of them have three tibolt and i don't think tibolt's a very good card i really don't I really don't. I just don't think it's it's a very good card. Even against like Esper, where it's probably that's where it's probably at its best against Esper because Esper has some life gain. I think that your best way of beating Esper is honestly out grinding them with like frenzy and, and other things and just playing a, a really long game. You're not always gonna win that. Esper is kind of a tough matchup, but I don't think that Tybalt is is really anything special, especially not even against like Oath of Kaya that they could just kill Tybalt right away with it. I don't know. I just I'm not I'm not uh I'm not very impressed with Tybalt. And instead, I want to get rid of those and I want just a lot of Blood Suns. I think that's just a, a lot better place to be. I'm not really so like Esper I think is a tough matchup, and I'm not really convinced that we're that favored against Scapeshift, honestly. Scapeshift is kind of built at uh trying to stop aggro, like with um especially with their sideboard. They got a lot of like ripjaw raptors and you know, like the Grazer always is like kind of annoying and then they they'll have like their the Johnny's welcome card to like gain some life, but they're, they're also just really fast. You know, it's usually like they're consistently turn five or turn six, put a ton of two twos into play. That kind of matchup, our most important thing is going to be Steamkin because Steamkin is, is the thing that makes us uh, be able to have just tons of mana and go crazy and stuff. So that's, that's what we're going to hopefully have there. So that was a long way of saying that I think it really is worth having all the blood suns in the sideboard. Uh, besides that, I just have, I have another Chandra Acolyte of Flame. Just really like this card. I have one Fire Artisan uh, and one and the fourth Frenzy in here. I'm not exactly sure. Like you know, could I could see going two Fire Artisans? Could see playing another yeah you know, second or a third Acolyte of Flame over here instead of one of these. Could see playing like a Rekindling Phoenix. I'm not exactly sure what I want with these slots, but I'm I'm happy with those. Um, I have this one fight with Fire, which I don't love, but I think that it's really important to be able to kill Ripjaw Raptor against the Scapeshift decks, or if you play against Jun Dinos, um, 
basically Ripjaw Raptor is a headache. And so that's why we have the one fight with fire. I don't love it, but it's it's kind of a necessary card. I took out the fourth lava coil for it. We just did that a little bit ago before streaming. And I don't and yeah, so I'm not sure about that, but I, I think it's worth it for the one fight with fire there. I could definitely see taking out the third fry. I'm perfectly fine playing two fry and getting the fourth lava coil back in. Uh, so that's something that to think about there. But I and I like the one Daredevil against uh, Esper in particular. So it's for Daredevil. But here we go. Mono red. Let's get some get some aggro going. Tier one Tuesday. We're playing five matches over in ranked. That's what we're doing with all these decks here. Playing five matches and seeing how we do. <laughs> there they never yeah, they never made a Blood Moon card style. If there was one, I would I would have bought it with gems, but there isn't one, so. So yeah, that's what. That's what we have. The vampires. So the vampires, of course, it can be tough. Or it could be easy. Like, if they have, like, their Vampire the Dire Moods and Adanto Vanguards and that kind of stuff, you know, it's really good for Chain Whirler. But if they have, like, Soren giving their things a lot of lifelink and, you know, this could be a little bit tougher matchup. So it... Vampires are the kind of deck, like... Half of their deck is, like, not so great against us. Half of the deck is amazing against us. Oh, Bloodthirsty Aerialist is... That's something. Hmm. Hey, Chow Tech, good evening. Just trying to race the aerialist, taking out their other things that gain life. It's not great. It's not great either. It's not a great turn for me. It was a great turn for them. Why do you think attacking first would have got me two extra damage? How? How would have attacking first got me two extra damage? My opponent would have had a, a blocker. Y'all, y'all do realize that my opponent had had the blocker out there, right? And then I would not have got in, like, if I would have attacked first. Like. Killed their like I had to use the the counters on the steamkin to kill their their three four. I mean, they they could have blocked like the, the lava runner and stuff. Yeah, I guess I could have done that. Actually, that, that probably would have been better. Yeah, Land Whirler, Skewer. I was kind of already, like, figuring out that, that line in my head before I had... 
before I drew that fourth before I drew that extra land. But yeah, drawing that extra land. All right. Anyway, let's see. So they are a very life gain heavy version of vampires, which is not ideal. Anyway, I, I should have been figuring out my sideboarding. Sorry. This you know these decks that I don't really play very often. I need to take a little bit more time sideboarding. Um, gosh, now I'm now I'm now I only have like twenty seconds. Uh, do I cut creatures? I gotta I gotta go because that that thing's about to run out of time. So I just have to I just have to do something. Sorry, I, I forgot about that. Yeah, because I have to just hit submit, because we've run... It's been, like, whenever it gets down to, like, 10 seconds, it just... Um, just sideboards for you. Yeah, I know. I was talking with Chad and everything. Which usually I, usually is okay, but a deck that I'm not... Uh, that I don't have an immediate plan of what I'm doing for sideboarding. No, y'all are good. Y'all are good. No white mana? Darn. All right, let's see that frenzy. Where you at, Frenzy? That's a killer. Wow. That's a killer. Bloodthirsty Aerialist, both games. This thing's too big. Could definitely use the frenzy there. Yeah, this has not felt like a very good matchup for us. <laughs> All right, GG. I just attack for five and then sack the vampire. Do another three.
So I said about the vampire decks is they have a normal vampire deck has like half the deck that's good against us, half the deck that's not very good against us. But a life gain focused vampire deck. Now that's a different story. They have a lot more against us. <laughs> What's up, real rank <laughs> no, I wouldn't have won that if, if it wasn't for chat. No, I, I... I wasn't... I wasn't winning. Like, I wasn't winning any of those games. Nah, Tibalt would have just died. I don't think Tibalt would have been any good. Card's never good. According to me. Yeah, I could have attacked with the Lava Runner. Uh, indecision. So, all right. Well, I messed that up. Should have played the other lava runner too. So I was planning on on striking that brineborn cutthroat there, but then I realized that that's a pretty bad play against next turn nightpack ambusher. That if they have nightpack ambusher the next turn, I'm gonna need that lightning strike. Should have had the other lava runner out there. All right, I haven't played this game very well. This ambusher is killing us, though. I have to pretend like I have a, a burn spell. Otherwise, we're losing this ambusher.
Nightpack Ambusher is a tough card to beat. It's a tough card to beat. Storming out of nowhere here. Yeah, yeah, we gotta. Yep, we're bringing in things that that can kill ambushers. Yeah, we'll bring in coils, even though they're sorcery speed. And yeah, the fight with fire. Nightpack ambusher is certainly the very best card in their deck against us by a long ways. I think we can beat everything else. It's just, just the ambusher is like the thing that we were really worried about. Uh, that's that's eleven. That's that's lethal. Yeah, we go block block. That's still lethal. Is red favored against flash? I think it, I think it all depends on the the ambusher. It, I think I really do. I think it all depends on if they have the ambusher early or not. Like a turn four ambusher, I think flash is favored. No ambusher, I think red's favored. So I think I'm gonna take out the skewers with them being sorcery speed and us already having to do damage to them and everything. On our instant speed stuff, the lava runners as we saw that game, lava runner looked pretty awful. I don't know if it's always going to be that bad, but it looked really bad that game. It is pretty bad against Trickster just in general. You know, like even like whenever it's a 2-2, if they Trickster it, it goes back into a 1-2 one, one and Trickster gets to just chump or just gets to eat that thing. I kind of want Chandra. I don't know if like taking out Lava Runners is right though. I kind of want this Chandra. I think that Chandra puts a lot of pressure on them that they can't deal with. I'm going to trim two Lava Runners. And switch out Chandra's. All right, Steamkin, one of our best cards, like always. Why not use Fry? Because it doesn't kill the thing that you need it to kill. Doesn't kill Ambusher. The only things it kills are really small blue creatures, and I don't really need a two mana spell to kill really, really small blue creatures. I have plenty of spells that do that. All it kills is two toughness or less things.
That card's annoying. That's really annoying. Playing anything into a Frilled Mystic doesn't work out very well for us. Hey, what's up, Dewey? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Sub number three on the day. Steamkin's a better card than Chain Whirler. I could. The reason the reason why I'm playing something here is because now I can't. I don't have the the mana to play both of these, so I can't just kill an ambusher on end step. So if I don't play anything, my opponent plays an ambusher. I'm in trouble. No, I'm not going to Lightning Strike face. That is not a good use of a Lightning Strike. I know, kitty. I wish they would have just played a land, too. Snow-covered hill. I want them to draw more lands. One is we still have Sinkapay for two covered. I don't really need to play the mountain first and let them know that we have a mountain. I mean, I should let the Sinister Sabotage resolve for the Surveil first, if they don't know that their creature is dead. Yeah, we, we have to get Frenzy to resolve. But I, I don't know exactly how we get Frenzy to resolve. We have less gas than they do. We have... Come on, deck. With Frenzy, though, you do want all your lands in play. I want them to... Why can't they just draw a whole bunch of lands? Why am I drawing a whole bunch of lands? I have 20. They probably don't have... They probably have more than 20 lands, I would assume.
Yeah, very good chance they have Real Mystic. Either Gust and Sir Yulin Drake. I guess this is why people don't play mono red very much these days, is it? Even the blue decks have just all these cards against you. So if our opponent has the counter spell, they they know just to sit back and wait forever before before. Yeah, you know, like they're just gonna always hold a card for the frenzy. So they have the two cards. I might as well just play that, to be honest. And we might as well play this also. Because taking four a turn when they have a Siri Lindrake is not ideal. It's not a good idea. Frenzy? Alright, not a bad one. We know our opponent has one hard counter spell in hand because they how they just said good game there, so they told us they have a counter spell. Wow, we have done a very good job of drawing lands these games. We've drawn half of our lands and a third of our deck. That's gross. We've kept a lot of two landers that where we're hitting our fifth and sixth land drop pretty easily. We'll see if that happens here. Of course, I I say something like that, and now we're going to just not draw a land, but we'll see. See how this goes. So this will be interesting to see how our, our four Blood Sun sideboard does. But like I've said before, I, I don't really know if we're actually favored here. I'm not convinced we are. Like, as you can see there, you know, we had Steamkin then Chain Whirler. They already have a bunch of 2-2s already. And 
this is why I think red needs all the blood suns these days. This is a tough matchup. Steam and just like I talked about earlier, Steamkin's our best card in this matchup. Just please don't have scape shift. Please don't have scape shift. Please don't have scape shift. Right, well, it's not really too much better. Yeah, that's what I'm going with, Chandra. Light up. I think I do want the other Firebrand. Do I want the other Firebrand? Yeah, I mean, we need to find, like, a Frenzy or something. We're, we have to do just direct damage, because they, they're just going to jump block forever. It's worth, it's worth it to keep Steamkin alive. Because of Frenzy. No other spells to minus for Chandra. I would really not mind to, to find our Frenzies here. I guess having the, the Chandra over the fourth Frenzy didn't really pay off in this game. I've just naturally drawn three Field of the Deads. Bold, bold, block, block, three, six, seven, eight. I can do eight. Don't worry. 
I brought company. I'm certainly hoping they don't kill Chandra. So they don't even have any lands in hand. It's all spells. I'm known for my excellent fight. Trust me, I have a plan. Nah, they killed Chandra, dang it. I'm late to meditation anyway. Hmm. All right, so frenzy uh, they're gonna have like enchantment removal for that Chandra. All right, so Frenzy looks better than this Chandra here. Even though this Chandra, I guess, does kill the little Teferi kind of well. Are we just taking out Wizards Lightning and, Ske and Skewer the Critics? Do I want to take out Viashino Pyromancer for like for like Chandra's, Chandra's and Fry's? Are you going to be better than Viachino Pyromancer? I can see it. Yeah, maybe I should cut the other two Pyromancers for fries. I'm not, I'm not sure. It's a little awkward on the, the three drop here. It's hard to kill him too quick. All right, I don't think I need to go shock light at the stage.
We have Dovin's veto for this thing. Nope. I don't see the girl. Everybody knows that in heart. We got seven points of burn here. They have so much life gain. Ugh, why do these lands have to say gain a life on them? Time wipe? Okay, well. All right, can we finish this out? Come on, deck. So close. So close. Ugh. One point. We get another eight lands here. Man, maybe I should sideboard out a land on the draw, maybe. I mean, that's it's kind of what Light at the Stage does, though. Alright, so they're just using Scapeshift as a... Thin, thin the deck card here. Good thing we have Bloodstone, otherwise we were dead. Well, I mean, obviously we could draw a Burn Spell. But they won't gain any life. If they're, I hope they get a whole bunch of gain life lands. Got two gain life lands out of their deck. And of course the blood sun or the blast zone has zero counters. It doesn't doesn't have any abilities. It doesn't enter with a counter. Gosh, Riptar Raptor. Did I not bring in my my thing that kills Riptar my anti Riptar Raptor card? Yay. Not to brag, but I'm totally the best pyromancy student. Yeah, we've had a lot of floods this league. I did not bring in my Riptar Raptor card. There's the whole reason why I put this fight with fire, because I want because Riptar Raptor in this matchup. Um This is kind of too many things that cost three mana. I'm going to go with this. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to trim a, a shock and a strike and get get the Viashino Pyromancers in here. I guess on the draw, they're not as good. I 
Yeah, let's do this. This is a good song for a burn deck. Don't Stop You Now by Queen. Don't keep this mountain. All right, five of our 20 lands already. We're already 25% of our way through our lands, seeing eight cards. <laughs> it's kind of a lot. My opponent knows I'm just playing this Chain Whirler here. Looks like they kept a Sketcher. I thought they could play Elvis Rejuvenator here. Pretty good for Chain Whirler. Alright. So as you all see with those games, Scape Shift is tough to beat. So getting all the Blood Suns, very good. Yeah, escape shift is, yeah, I, that's that's definitely the number one deck I'm facing these days too. Which, which maybe mono red with four blood suns, maybe that's maybe this is a good choice against escape shift. Why did I keep this? I don't know. I had two lands, five spells, and I just kind of kept really quickly, and then I looked at my hand and I'm like, why am I keeping this? I don't know why I kept that. Jund Dinos? Well, this hand's not so bad against Marauding Raptors. Ripjaw's gonna be another story, though. Please, no Ripjaw. Or, you know, any of the other dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are hard to beat. They're big. I hope they have a whole lot of Marauding Raptors. We can, de we can deal with those. Lands. Bunch of lands and two drops. No, not that thing. That thing's big. lands.
down, 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 down. Ugh. Gross. Let's get turn. Chain Whirler is a good blocker though, because you, know, you get to Chain Whirler plus Burn Spell to kill things. It's not the ideal card to see. The biggest problem for us besides Riptar Raptor is of course Colossus. If they don't have Colossus, it's not so bad for us, but obviously Riptar Raptor is a, a big problem too. We have to kill this marauding raptor. No, I haven't played any wizards deck. I kind of understand after playing, you know, playing through this league, why people, why there's just just not very much mono red that you're seeing at all these days. Certainly understand it. Seen a lot of John Dinos today, though. This is the third time that we've played against John Dinos. So they're just getting the cards back that they discarded with Rotting Regisaur. Earlier. All right, Lolly Yeager. See you back here in a few hours.
Darn it, they found Colossus. That was a card I couldn't really beat. Can't afford for them to draw that card. Colossus is so tough to beat. Uh, vampires would have Legion's End against Scapeshift. Because Blood Sun is miles better than Alpine Moon. Shutting off all the lands, not shutting off one land, is much more valuable. I know we didn't do anything with Experimental Frenzy there, but I think this is like our, I think these are like our, our cards that we kind of need. You know, obviously, I think we need like Steamkin to kind of go along with them, but I think they're the kind of cards that we we need here. Whenever the next set rotates, Techstar is whenever, or whenever the next set comes out is whenever rotation happens, which will be the end of September. Steamkin's a good one. Go, mono red, go. So yeah, I could I could just Wizards Lightning this thing, and then attack for four. Yeah, I guess that's better. Definitely was was really thinking about just going with Frenzy, and seeing what we have on top. You know, trying to trying to get Frenzy started and just use the two Firebrands to kill that thing. But this is this is a better play. Wow. Never mind, which I would have just done the frenzy and used the firebrands. Never mind. Worst play.
Yep, got punished. Definitely been nice to have that thing out a long time ago. How do we beat these things? They're so big. So mean. This M20 set. I understand why people are not playing Mono Red anymore. This M20 set. It's like everything. Everything here is just like all these people have all these good M20 cards that are just crushing Mono Red. <laughs> You know, like even the Simic tech, how they had just a bunch of Sela and Drake and Ether Gusts. And all these gain life lands everywhere. <laughs> like you know, let's let's just let people gain a bunch of life. Yeah, mono red is not not in a great spot. Doesn't feel like. And no, we're not trying to play around Cry the Carnarium or anything like that. Here on our mold of five, we have to just try to be as aggressive as we can. So Sultai Field of the Dead deck. Well, Field of the Dead's the only kind of deck we've beaten so far. So I could have had the Shock do 3 damage there if I would have shocked them. Then it would have turned on the Lava Runner. So Shock would have de dealt 3 damage. But I think it's it's better to save the Shock for, you know, for, for something. You know, kind of see what they have here. I think it's better to hold on to it than just use it there. All right, do I want to shock this Risen Reef? Yes. I'll keep the Firebrand around doing that now because we could have drawn Frenzy. Uh, no, I I have uh, three mana Chandra in here from M20. But no, I don't have any Chandra Spitfire or Ember Hauler.
Brawler's fine. I don't... Insane is... Is a little heavy there. But it's it's a fine card. They're likely going to be Ripjaw Raptoring it up too. Expecting, you know, a Cavalier of Thorns. That's a card that's going to be hard for me to beat. That's that's the card I'm probably the most worried about right now is Cavalier of Thorns. Just go big. I want all these cards. I guess we'll get rid of the second Blood Sun, though. Can't really get rid of anything else. Yeah, we'll see. Like, this is a game where we're definitely going to be relying on Frenzy to win. Relying on Blood Sun to slow him down. Frenzy to win. Without much interaction from the opponent, we'll do really well. But... There's some interaction there. Is it good to cast Shock and Light Up before playing Frenzy, or just to play Frenzy next turn? So I could Shock your rock. And, no, I can't Shock your rock and then Light Up, because Light Up would still would not cost one mana. Well, if we, if we shock face, we there's not a three damage spell we can get. If we shock face, then cast light up the stage, then we'd have to have shock. We we don't have two mana. You know, it's lightning strikes our three damage spell. We, we don't have two mana for that. I think I am playing the long game here with friend and wanting to get frenzy started early. No, I, I sideboarded out Skewer. We 
We want to hit lands, though. Like, we always want to hit one land. You know, each turn we want to be getting a land. No land, though. That's not good. First two turns with Frenzy and hit, not hitting lands. That's not good. But I mean, we're looking just fine. You know, like, they only have one card in hand. We're looking just fine. Hmm. I, wanna, I just want to keep my life total high, honestly. This Pyromancer is not doing anything with the Grazer and stuff. Let's just trade. You know, obviously, we're never going to deal with this Drake. Obviously, it's pro-red. So, like, we're dead in 16 turns, but, you know, probably before that. All right, well, the, the trade didn't work out for us, I guess. <laughs> there. That was good. But obviously, obviously, I can't really attack with the Vyashino Pyromancer into Sir Yulin Drake anyway. And we'll see one of these turns. I'm probably going to be blowing up this experimental frenzy somewhat soon. Could do it right now. Blow up Frenzy, Shock Risen Reef, then we don't have to discard. And then next turn, we have, you know, like Chain Whirler, some Light of the Stages, and we kind of go from there before we play another Frenzy later and start using all these cards in hand. Guess we just shock them. Yeah, Blood Moon was very good here. I'm telling y'all, Blood Moon very good in this format right now. Or Blood Sun, whatever. Yeah, Blood Sun. <laughs> All right, GG's. All right, so we went 2-3 with Mono Red Aggro. We did beat...
we did beat both the field of the decks field of the dead decks that we played which as you can tell by, by playing two out of five field of the dead decks um uh, field of the dead is very popular <laughs> right now so you know playing playing a deck that that's good against those is is a good spot to be we need some help with the other matchups john dinos in particular felt pretty rough uh then we played against a, a life gain vampire deck and then the simic flash i don't think i didn't well we didn't one we didn't draw too well but i didn't play the best against the simic deck either i don't think i, I played the best sideboard the best all that kind of stuff against the simic deck we also didn't draw very well as we had tons and tons of lands in the games that one so you know it's like uh, a perfect storm there so i'd have to say the blood sun was very very impressive besides that um chandra acolyte of flame not super impressive neither was like like viachino pyromancer wasn't really that impressive either it was fine that one toughness was kind of rough um so yes chandra spitfire and ember holler like as people are talking like some people like uh you know some people like spitfire a lot some people like ember holler a lot those are definitely other ways to take mono red but no matter where you go i think blood sun as a four of is absolutely worth it and um like like skewer wizards lightning like these these cards weren't very good skewer the critics wizards lightning Honestly, Frenzy wasn't that great. It was just pretty expensive. Like, I could def definitely see going to, like, you know, the 18 Mountain Risk Factor versions that we've kind of seen around. Um, but, yeah, I, I do think that, that like, red, ag red aggro with Blood Sun is not so bad of a choice with, our, with lots and lots of people playing Field of the Dead. Uh, just getting a, a better plan of, like, basically kind of cleaning the deck up around the fringes getting getting a better plan for your ripjaw raptors of the world um but i didn't i didn't mind this deck list so much i think like the one the one loss that i really like the john dinos and like that that matchup felt pretty rough and then like the the vampire deck that was really focused on the life gain felt pretty rough I think we should have lost those. I think we should have beat the Field of the Dead decks. I think it's the the Simic match that we lost. That was the one where, looking back at it, really really think that we would have a, a pretty good chance of winning that one usually, but our draws were pretty bad, and I made some mistakes as well. That's one that I think that was winnable, that could have, got us, could have been 3-2 there. Um... But there you go. Blood Sun, very good. Alpine Moon, not good. No, don't don't play Alpine Moon. Uh, yeah, don't. Yeah, Alp So the problem with Alpine Moon, it's it's not a card you want in those matchups because all the Field of the Dead decks are playing Blast Zones. Also, that you you can name Field of the Dead, but all their other lands still do stuff. They still gain life. They still scry. All their other lands do things, and then they go get grab Bl Blast Zone, and Blast Zone destroys your Alpine Moon. Um, just just play Blood Sun. It shuts off shuts off all those lands, shuts them all off, and draws you a card, which is beneficial there too. And you can also not only those matchups, you can also play Blood Sun against Nexus if you want. You know, turn off Blast Zone and Ascanta and Memorial. Turn off all those things in the Nexus matchup. Also helps you out there. Um, <laughs> Alpine Sun, pretty good. <laughs> uh, it's it's hard to say Sun and Moon, like all those Sun and Moon cards. Who knows which one's which? Anyway, that's Mono Red Aggro. We should probably move on to our last two decks of the night. Hey, Hawkeye. Um, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed Mono Red Aggro here on Tier 1 Tuesday. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Oh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons on YouTube. I'd appreciate that. But thanks very much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.